Uh, I've been uh, looking at some videos online about how to build uh, rad crow decoys and I think I figured out a way maybe to improve some of the things I've seen so I want to share that with everybody and see what, uh, see what you might want to build you some crow decoys. Uh, most of them I've seen have been made with black trash bags and coat hangers or sticks so I've kind of made an improvement to that. The materials I've got is some dollar trash bags electric tape and cable ties, coat hanger, some newspaper. Total cost of all this stuff was three bucks and I figure with nine trash bags I'll make about 18 decoys for three dollars so pretty good pretty good investment. Just going to kind of show you what, I, what I've done, how I've been kind of changing some of the stuff I saw online. Um, take one of these trash bags out this particular one's got kind of an odd shape to it, so uh, I've been cutting that piece off. But really, you need a piece that's pretty close to square. So uh, just been folding that, cutting this end off. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just cut that piece off, and uh, and then cutting this in half. You make two decoys out of out of one trash bag. Just cut that in half. Lay that piece aside for right now. So uh, after you've cut that out, it will fold back out. So you unfold that piece, and you need to, it should be fairly close to square. Uh, you just want to check it, and it works better if it's close to square. So I fold it, fold it corner to corner, and then you can kind of see it's pretty close to square. So that that should work. Uh, that'll be our a rag part of our decoy. And then with the coat hanger, uh, I've seen people do different things with this. This is kind of what I figured out doing or straightening out the, the hook of the coat hanger would be the stake for your decoy. And then what I have been doing is folding these two ends together like that. And then this piece that's through here, bring it back through like that, kind of bend that back. So this is going to be kind of the back support of my decoy, and this will be the head. So I've got that sort of that shape there is what you're looking for. Of course, you'll bend this down for it to stick in the ground. So take one of your cable ties. This is what's going to hold this together. As you see, it kind of springs out if you don't do something. So take a cable tie. Put this together. And now the cable tie is going to serve another function as well. Here in just a minute I'll show you. But kind of cable tie that together so that stays together. Put tight. And then I'm going to cut so there's about an inch of this cable tie tag left. I'm not going to cut it all the way down flush. I'm going to leave about that much of it. So there's what we got. Take a piece of this take a piece in this way. You don't need a really big piece. In fact, you don't want a really big piece. Uh, you, when you wad it up, it should be about uh, the size of a golf ball, maybe something like that. Kind of wad that down. Uh, take my electric tape here. Get it started. Now put that right in this little slot here. Kind of put it there. I'm just gonna run one piece of electric tape around that just to hold it in place. That's going to be the head of our decoy. And this will be the backbone for the beak, basically. That cable tie will serve two functions there. So, there's uh, sort of that. And what we're going to do then, take your piece of plastic from the trash bag. Now, one thing you'll want to notice here on all these you're going to find that one side is going to have a, a flap on it that's going to all you want that on the bottom you want this to be your top side it's all one solid piece on top and so you're just going to pretty much put a cape over this with the plastic taken in one corner wrap it over the head and while i'm holding that i'm going to take my my electric tape again get it started here And when you're, you're going to secure this onto the, the frame with this tape, 
And when you're putting this tape on, don't go back behind where your ball of paper is. You want to be you know, right at the back side of the ball of paper. If you go behind it, you're going to make a real thin looking neck, which is going to look funny. So we're just wrapping around the, the ball of paper and the plastic to hold it on. And then as I'm coming out, I'm going to be over that, that cable tie. And all I'm doing there is, you know, leaving it half an inch wide or so and wrapping the tape back on itself and running out maybe an inch or so to the end of that cable tie, cut that off. And then I'm going to look, make sure that looks okay, that looks fine. And I'm just going to take the scissors and just trim that to the shape of a beak. And again, I'm not, this is not art, so. Something like that. And then I, so I've got this on like a cape on my frame that I made, you know, of the, there's the frame from the, from the coat hanger. So that's basically that. A little bit off kilter, but I can turn that enough, and it'll, it'll be fine. So like that. And then I'm going to lay it on, on the back. And uh, you're going to take these two corners, opposite corners, and we're going to tie them onto this frame. Just take them. I try to not use too much of the material. I want to have a little bit of size to it. So I'm trying to use close to the same amount on both knots on each side so that it is symmetrical. So I'm just tying that. I can get it to tie. Tie that on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. Again, this is the piece with the, it has the stick to it, so we're tying to that. Again, just tying just the overhand knot using that the material from the trash bag. Trying to, trying to use the same amount of material each time so it's more symmetrical, but sometimes that's a little hard to do and doesn't really hurt it if it's not. So those two are tied there. And I'm going to slide that just down the side here like that. And then the next step, this material in the back back here, right where this piece kind of kind of comes in, where this other piece of the uh, hanger comes down. I'm going to gather the material right there and we'll just tie another knot right in that, at that location. Like that. And you can kind of spread that out. That'll catch some wind and have some movement to it. This will catch some wind and have some movement to it. And so we're practically done here at this point. You can bend this out a little bit, pull it around, and what I'll do, what I do then is with these two pieces, I don't want them moving around so much, so I'm going to take my electric tape one more time. I'm going to fasten these two knotted ends in place so they don't move. Just wrap some electric tape around that, and at the same time, by doing that, I'm going to wrap it all the way down this light coat hanger so it doesn't show. Wrap it down. Same right there. Just like that. Alright. Last part, your bag needs to kind of be there. And you're going to take these two pieces and kind of bend them out to kind of hold that open. That way wind will catch this part and give it some body. So basically at this point, bend this down, it's finished. So there's your crow decoy. Again, the wind's going to blow in this and kind of give it some movement, give it some body. And you can bend this to whatever position you want it to be, feeding or, or standing upright the century so that's the my version of the plastic bag rag crow decoy